It's time for an update video about the Sony CCD TR505E, the one with the tiny color LCD in the color viewfinder. So in the last video where I was working on this camera, I noticed that there is a problem that I had to, well, think about for a little bit, and this is about the audio board. The actual connector that connects the main PCB to the audio board had a gunked up connector. So I think I might be able to show this because the board will come loose if I just tuck on it ever so slightly. It should come off like so. There's still a little bit of crustiness inside the connector, even though after cleaning it, even though uh, it, it no, even though I cleaned it, even after cleaning it, um, there's still some leftover gunked up residue, and also over here, there's still. Is that able to focus? There we go. There is still some of that leaked stuff over there. And also, there seems to be, even though I already recapped it, there seems to be a leakiness going on, um, electrolyte that leaked to the underside of the PCB beneath the chips. Because also, an another indicator that something is wrong is um, whenever I put this board into the camera, well, when you play back video, it turns out to be black and white, and without the board, you'll have color. So this tells me that something distorts the RF that's being read off the tape and fed through the entirety of the of the camera. Um, it's actually a little bit stupid that they did it that way, but since the audio is inside the same RF, uh, signal are kind of encoded in the RF uh, signal in as the video they have to lead or, or run the the RF via these boards and if there's something going on over at this board that distorts the RF well of course there's going to be a problem with the the color at first because the signal gets weak there's distortion in the video um, and therefore I have to think about a solution so probably I'm going to Pay a bit more attention to the board, remove the chips, check underneath the chip, chips if there is some electrolyte leakage that's still affecting some traces. And I, I can actually see that there's some gunked up legs over this chip. I can barely see it. So probably we're going to have um, to put a bit more attention to the audio video board, uh, to the audio board, audio processor board, the AU135P says it right there in the corner so other than that it works I had to go through the painful job of um, because I don't have the flex prints at hand of um, well rewiring the DC DC converter because uh, well <laughs> it just broke off and uh, it's pretty hard to re to to repair the, the flex prints so I uh, opted into um, run wires it works it's not a beautiful job it but but it works um i have to see if i can get the the flex print wire with that pitch uh that i that i need maybe from from aliexpress or something i didn't put a lot of effort into this i rather went the uh diy way and uh, well as you can see uh it's it's all wired up but it works as designed. It's all wired up uh, uh, manually, I wanted to say. Yeah, that's that's it for now. Let's see if we can fix the problem with the, the distorted video playback. While repairing the audio board, I apparently forgot to hit the record button on my camera. Therefore, there is only pictures of the audio board before and after I reworked the solder joints. There was quite some gunk beneath the chip, which caused the RF to be distorted because this chip is actually extracting the audio from the RF for one of the two channels. 
Anyway, let's check out the reassembly.